Have some funky fresh moves. Captain Crangle! Skate Lad! Rope Girl! Timo Supremo! Shouldn't you children be in school? Come on, Timo! Supremo, I've lost my patience with you. Takes us some quick calculating and a steady wrist. We got 21 targets that time. Not bad, but I think we can do better. Then what are we waiting for? Come on, let's run another drill. Right, Rope Girl, we must never waste time on level six. Ready? Chica! Seven? That's the best score yet. Then why don't we take a breather? I had my mom pack up some veggie sticks for us to snack on. I love veggie sticks. I know. That's why I brought them. Yes, and by making healthy food choices, our super reflexes will become even more super. Excellent work on the mechanized wheel of adversaries, Timo. Thanks, Mr. Paulson. Are our danger simulations helping you in the field? Indeed. Level 6 is a fantastic training facility. That's nice to hear. Sorry to interrupt your training, kids, but we've got trouble. What kind? There's a heist in progress over at Jimmy's Gems! But they have the best security system in the tri-state area. Yes, they do, but it's no match for Hypnotheria. Hypnotheria? Yes, Hypnotheria. She was once a promising doctoral candidate seeking PhDs in both Royal European History and Applied Hypnosis. Gee, yeah, she's ambitious! Yeah, well, maybe too ambitious, Brenda. After spending years researching her dual doctorates, she came to believe that she herself should be named our queen. It happens too much. Right on, Hector. But the bigger bummer is that it's quite possible she is now using her mastery of hypnosis to turn our state into her queendom. Have no fear, Governor Kevin. We're on our way. No one messes with our democracy. Timo Supremo! Officer. Ruff, ruff, ruff. That's weird. Try tickling him. We have no time for that. Let's move. Well, this one's all right, but we really need to make a statement. We're readying an announcement of royal importance. Anything less than regal just won't do. Clive, what do you think? Gorgeous, yes? We like it, too. Drop the merchandise and cease your criminal antics, Hypnotheria. Give up now, lady villain. Timo Supremo's in peak condition. Cause we sleep right, train hard, and always make healthy food choices. Healthy food choices, eh? Well, we'll see if we can't fix that. Who's we? We are, you pathetic peasant. I'm using the royal we. Now, behold. Eat fattening treats, eat cookies and cake, eat everything sweet with nothing at stake. To the sound of my voice, you will take heed. Junk food is all that you want or need. Thanks for shopping at Jimmy's. No, thank you! <laughs> Royal Guards, tally-ho! 
What just happened? Where'd she go? She, uh, got away. Maybe we can find a clue here somewhere and track her down. Hey, look at this. Mmm, candy. Let's plan our next move over dessert. Sounds good to me. Cap? I'm there. Hey there, Crandall. Hey, Jean. Nice hat. Preparing for a career as a famous pastry chef? You betcha. Try one. I think I'll try them all. Not too many, mister. Yeah, take it easy, Crandall. Those were excellent, Jean. Will you please make me some more? Honey, it's 3 a.m. Did you have a bad dream? I wanted something sweet to eat. Oh, boy. I was surprised when you ate all of Jean's treats, but I didn't expect you to make a habit of it. Mmm, make a habit of it. Super move, having dessert before eating lunch. Yeah! Rhubarb pie with chocolate syrup rocks! I never tried apple crunch topped with ice cream and butterscotch pudding. It's a taste sensation. That's nothing. I had triple stack cheesecake last night with jelly beans on top. Mmm. Mm. Excuse me, but I just received an urgent... What on earth are you eating? Sweets! So it seems. But aren't you the children who trick-or-treat for vegetables? What's a vegetable? I see. Well, I just received an urgent message from the governor. He needs you to report to the post office post-haste. Thanks, Mrs. Willingans. We're on our way. Yeah, just two more bites. I think there's a candy store next to the post office. We can stop there on our way. Mmm, candy! Right, come on, guys. Root me, Brenda! Don't worry, ma'am. We'll get this hypnotheria uh, eventually. Huzzah! Wow, I feel kind of woozy. Chick! Oh! My stomach! Whoop! Bug! Timo! Mm. Supremo! Timo, you're too late! Hypnotheria was here and she stole all the stamps and replaced them with these. They're crazy looking! Yeah. Too bad we didn't get here in time to stop her. Agreed. We probably need more snacks. Then you'll be happy. She left this for you. Mmm, candy. Huh? Chocolate! She's one nice villain. Wait a minute, she is taunting us. We've got to stop her before she... Mmm, are those cinnamon? I can't believe it! They're not leaving any for me. Soon my dream of becoming queen of the state will come true. I've got the jewels, the gowns, even my own stamp. Almost everything is in place. Right, Clive? We thought so. And now that Timo Supremo is off on their junk food binge, we can safely proceed with my plan to hypnotize everyone into naming us, and by that I mean me, Queen! To the TV station! I like white chocolate. It's cream malicious. White chocolate's waxy. Milk chocolate reigns supremo. You're both missing out. Bittersweet's the real deal. Timo, what are you doing? Eating chocolate. But don't you know that Hypnotheria's royal scam has the whole state in a panic? I think you might be overreacting, Jean. Yeah, we're not in a panic. We're feeling fine. I can't believe it. I thought you put fighting crime ahead of everything else. Now all you do is eat sweets. It's like you've been hypnotized. Hypnotized? Say, Jean, you just might have something there. Yeah, Hypnotheria was supposed to be a master of hypnosis. Then maybe you need to be de hypnotized. De hypnotized? Perhaps Mr. Paulson can help. Yes, it does seem that you're suffering the effects of hypnotic suggestion, but this level 7 inverse hypnotic deprogrammer should prove just the tonic you need. Wow, that's better. Yeah, but what have we been eating? I don't know, but the sure not veggie stick. Hey, kids, I hope you're feeling better, because we've just crash-landed in downtown Bummerville. Huh? How come, Governor Kevin? Hypnotheria has broken into WPJW. If she gets on the air, there's no telling what sort of havoc she could cause for our state. I've already sent the chief over there, but he hasn't reported back. We're on our way, Governor Kevin. Oh, 
it's a wondrous thing when a power grab comes together. Once we hypnotize the entire state, we'll be adored like a regal queen should be. Isn't that right, Chief? Yes, and I'll be your royal pet. No, oh, good boy. Now, let's get this show on the road. In five, four, three. Wait just a majestic moment, Hypnotheria. No, oh, that isn't Timo Supremo. Royal guards, let them eat cake. No, thanks. <laughs> Good work, Rope Girl. Now, Skate Lad, roll one of those TV monitors up to Hypnotheria. I've got a little surprise for the one who would be queen. We're on the air. I don't think so. But Attention, people of the state. You will all worship me, love me, adore me. Chica! Lower your defenses, people. Lower your defenses and make me your queen. We think we'll lower our defenses so we can become queen. It's working. She's actually hypnotizing herself. That's right. Thanks for the assist, Hypnotheria. Rope girl. What? Good work, Timo. Thanks, Governor Kevin. I've dehypnotized everyone except Hypnotheria herself, but I think she's safer that way. We would like to see our royal quarters. Right this way, Hypno Lady. I think you'll really like your royal bars. Now that's what I call sweet justice. <laughs> Those pancakes sure smell great, Earth Mom. Thanks, dear. And I'm glad that Hector and Brenda could join us for your birthday breakfast. So are we. I love flapjacks. Well, how do you like that? Did you kids know that today is that boy from Timo Supremo's birthday, too? I'm sure they do. Crandall, Hector, and Brenda follow Timo's actions pretty closely. Pretty closely, indeed. They seem nice. The paper says they're having a birthday gala where he'll be giving presents to less fortunate kids. That lousy little twerp! He's the party pooper who put me in prison! If only I could get out of here and bust up his little soiree! But getting out of there will be no piece of cake. Or perhaps it will. This cake's for you, birthday bandit. A birthday cake? What have you done to it? Searched it, of course. Did you find anything? No. So I guess it really is a birthday cake from your mom. Little late, though, isn't it? <laughs> Mom never could remember my birthday. She never really could bake, either. Say, officer, since you were nice enough to bring me my cake, perhaps you'd like a piece. The birthday bandit sharing cake? This has got to be a first. Maybe the prison system's rehabilitation program works after all. Are you going to have a piece or not? Don't mind if I do. Ah! It's... Ah! Can people wonder why I became the birthday bandit? Cake. That must have water. Right over here, my boy. You can't do that. Oh, but I just did. <laughs> right for now. My party favors and I have a very special party to crash. Here's some root beer to wet your whistles, kids. Bottoms up and party down. Thank you, Governor Kevin. I'm really happy that our state citizens responded so generously to my birthday bash for the less fortunate. Oh, I think everyone's psyched to show their appreciation to the superheroes who protect our state. That's good to hear! Don't forget, my B-Day's July 18th. Cowboy boots and hats. Say, birthday boy, this one's got your name on it. That's right. We figured that you should get at least one super birthday present today. Well, thank you, Samantha and Mr. Paulson. Attention, <laughs> revelers! Birthday bandit! I should have known you'd crash my birthday. Bandit! But of course, it's what I do. <laughs> Party favors! Attack! <laughs> Me? You shouldn't have. We didn't. Okay, Bandit, the party's over. I don't think so, birthday boob. In fact, I think the party's just begun. What the? Noon 
that can hold Timo Supremo. Oh, don't be too sure, birthday brats. This is a new unbreakable net, courtesy of level seven. By the way, like my new belt? Huh? That's the prototype ultra-classified, ultra-useful utility belt we made for Captain Crandall. Really? I didn't see his name on it. Well, actually I did, but who cares? It's mine now! <laughs> So long, party patrons. Hate to leave you like this, but I was taught to arrive fashionably late, leave fashionably early, and steal all the best gifts. There's no telling how much damage the birthday bandit could do with my belt. I'll say, those are some fancy gadgets. Say, you got any more of those prototype belts back at level seven? I'm afraid that's the only one. No problem, just tell us how all those gadgets work. Actually, that is a problem. We told the tech crew to load it up. We're not sure what's on the new belt, and the instructions are in the belt. That's how the bandit knew how to use them. So what you're saying is, there's a bunch of highly advanced top-secret gadgets, and the only person who knows how to use them is the psychologically unbalanced birthday bandit who's bent on revenge? That about sums it up. Wow, bummer. Indeed. But this time, the birthday bandits made it personal. Because he crashed your party? No. Because he stole your belt? No. It's because he ruined everything for these <laughs> less fortunate kids. <laughs> presents! 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 That's what I'm here for. <laughs> Step away from the presents, bandit. And speaking of presents, it's time you returned mine. <laughs> now that I've got your new and improved utility belt, nothing can stop me. Timo, scramble! Tell your friend Paulson he deserves a raise. <laughs> you should know that I've called for a suspension on all birthday parties. Cheek, ouch. I didn't like doing it, kids, but I don't know what else to do. I'll see you about canceling tomorrow's state sesquicentennial celebration, sir. No, don't. Governor Kevin, if we stop all the state's birthday celebrations, then the birthday bandit will have won, and I didn't become a superhero to let the bad guys win. But how are we going to stop him? Yeah, he's got all those super gadgets, remember? Gadgets are only as good as the person using them. We've seen what his belt can do, and I think we're smart enough to overcome all of his soul and super tools. I dig it when you kids get motivated. Go ahead with the party, Governor Kevin. In fact, I think you should make a big announcement asking everyone to attend. But the bandit won't be able to resist a party that big. That's what I'm counting on, Chief. Have it. Have it. Yo, why did we steal this? Have it. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> My fellow citizens. That's us. Tomorrow's sesquicentennial party will go on as planned. I urge every citizen to join yours truly for a very special event, the busting out of a giant statue to grace our fair harbor. It's a goodwill gift from our good neighbors to the north, and to my knowledge, the largest gift ever given. Oh, did he say largest gift ever? <laughs> I'm going to need help. Party papers? Steal a crane. So far, no sign of the bandit, sir. Maybe we scared him off. Don't bet on it, Chief. That dude is out there, poised to strike. <clears throat> Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen what, what say, say we, we unveil, unveil this bad, bad boy? boy. 
In honor of the righteous freedoms we have enjoyed in this state for the last 150 years, our awesome buddies have bestowed upon us this groovy gift. Behold, the lobster of liberty, cracking the chains of oppression that once bound us all, reminding us that freedom don't necessarily come easy. Actually, easy come, easy go. The birthday bandit. Favors, round up the smaller gifts. This one's mine. I don't think so. Haven't you learned your lesson yet? You can't beat the belt. Then you won't mind if we try. But now! Party favors, blow out their candles. First, you gotta find us. Think you can hide from me, eh? Over here! Looking for me? Ah! Stupid useless Timo Torch! Give it up, Bandit. There's no way you're taking this statue. Clever little superheroes. Maybe you've saved the statue, but you'll never stop me! Looks like you've crashed your last party, Bandit. That belt was a bit snug. Should have eased off the cake a bit. Well, the bandits all checked in to his new cell at the State Facility for Wayward Clowns. Thanks, Chief. And Timo, once again, you've saved our fair state. As always, you did it with ingenuity and determination. That's our job, Governor Kevin. True. Still, I'm totally bummed that the bandit messed up your birthday, so I had the boys in blue do a little recovery work. What the? It's all the presents from Crandall's party. That's right. It's all the presents from Crandall's party. Would you still like to hand them out to the less fortunate? Governor Kevin, it would be our pleasure. 